Hi everybody, this is Bob with another Logic Pro 10 tutorial. In this video, we're going to take a look at using the Logic's built-in compressor. Now, there are many uses for a compressor, but in this video, we are going to focus on controlling the dynamics of a lead vocal. Additionally, we'll look at settings to try to emulate the classic Teletronics LA-2A compressor. But first, a little about the LA-2A. The LA-2A is considered to be one of the most legendary vocal compressors in history. Now there are several plug-in providers like Waves and Universal Audio that provide software versions, but we are going to stick with what comes with Logic right out of the box and try to emulate this classic compressor. And we'll do that by matching the circuit type the ratio, and the release settings. The LA-2A has been the go-to device for vocals for several decades now, and primarily for its sonic qualities. But understand that there are sonic qualities that you can only get by running your signal through the actual hardware device, or maybe one of the emulation plugins. And I'm told that each hardware unit may have its own personality and thereby offering some unique qualities. Now, let's take a look at Logic's compressor. Um, I have pulled up here the vocal track from my song, I Fly With You, and here's Logic's compressor. And the LA-2A hardware unit is an optical-based compressor, so if we wanna to try to emulate that, then the first thing we need to do is um, change the circuit type here to Vintage Opto. Now, the LA-2A only has a few physical controls. The traditional compressor parameters are fixed or have limited values. The compressor ratio, for the most part, is fixed at four to one. So let's start by, let's set that at four to one. But now this fluctuates depending on the frequency of your in incoming signal. So you'll want to experiment with the ratio a little bit and depending on your input signal type, but just don't drift too far away from a four to one ratio. Now the LA-2A's attack is fixed around 10 milliseconds. So we'll set that. And the release, um, I don't know, it's somewhere between 50 and 100. We'll, we'll just set it there around 70. And you'll want to um, experiment with these as well to suit your audio and, and kind of just adjust it to taste. Now, the gain control here is used to make up gain loss by the compression. This also brings up the quieter parts. So a good way to do that is to match the levels with the compressor bypassed and then back on. So we'll, we'll look at that as well. The LA-2A is a soft knee compressor, so set the knee parameter to one. This reduces the rate at which the compression effects kick in at the threshold point. So let's listen to the start of the course of my song, I Fly With You. And this is a good example of how the uh, more dynamic part needs to be brought down and the quieter parts need to be brought up. So this is a perfect tool for the compressor. So I'm going to leave it uh, the compressor bypass for now to let you hear what it sounds like without the compression. So here we go. So notice how the I fly in this lyric is kind of cutting through the mix. It's, it sounds okay, but the with you in I fly with you kind of gets lost in the mix. So listen to that part. So with you needs to be brought up a little bit. So I'm going to start with the compressor threshold, and we'll start bringing that down until we see some gain reduction here. So uh, we're all set. And the, by the way, the auto gain, you want that off here because we're going to make up the gain. So let's turn the compressor on and play with this threshold setting now. So right in I fly, I'm starting to get some um, some reduction here. So that's what I'm looking for. And I really don't want any reduction on the vocal with you. I fly with you. I fly with you. I fly with you. 
So that's a pretty good threshold setting. Notice I have some gain reduction on I fly and nothing on the words with you. So that helped out a little bit, but we need to make up that gain. And what you're going to notice now is the quieter part is going to come up a little bit. So we're getting about four, four and a half dB here. So I'm going to increase this, um, use this makeup gain and bring in about four and a half. So let's see what happens here. Notice how the with you um, really came up and then it's not you know so buried in the mix here. I'm going to reduce this ratio a little bit and um, not compress so much. Let's see how this sounds. Sounds a little bit better. So you can see how we compressed the louder part of this vocal and then brought up the softer part. So like I said before, this is perfect for the compressor. Now there's a couple other settings here. If I go down here and click on this disclosure triangle at the bottom of the compressor plugin window, it reveals some extra controls. So if you want to simulate the tube distortion effect of the LA-2A, you can choose uh, soft here. Uh, the default is for that to be off, so you can change that to soft, and that'll give you the output distortion type, and see if you prefer that in the mix. Um, so let's see if we can hear that. I'll, uh, I'll turn it off for right now. Now let's try the output distortion to soft. So hopefully you're using some good headphones or you have your uh, some good monitors on here and um, you can hear how that cuts through a little bit a little bit more and you can hear that distortion. Let's try that with with it soloed up. Let's see what that sounds like. Here's um, here's with it off. I fly with you. Let's try it with it on soft. I fly with you. So you can definitely hear that distortion effect there and it kind of cuts through a little bit more. Now I prefer to use a tape simulation that's in the tape delay plugin that comes with Logic, and I insert that before the compressor. But use your ears and you decide what works best for your mix. L let me show you that now. I'll just leave this compressor here. Here's the tape delay plugin. Now, I'm not gonna use this tape delay as a delay effect, so I have the delay set to zero. And it's 100% wet, nothing dry, and so you say, well, what does this do? It's not doing anything since we have no delay set here. Use this disclosure triangle here and you'll see distortion level. So I have it, um, I, I kind of preset it to my taste here. Let me see if we, can, if we can hear that. Let me turn this one off. And let's try this one here. Okay, I'll do a before and after. That's with the tape delay distortion off, and here's with it on. And you may want to use um, you may want to use the tape delay there, and then put the soft uh, distortion over here and use them together. Yeah, just use your own ears on that and um, and do that to taste. Okay, so that was a uh, that was a quick video on the Logic's compressor and the LA-2A uh, settings. Now, if you want to hear this song in its entirety, check out the video for this tune with some great flying footage of vintage aircraft, and I'll put a link in the description. I hope you found this helpful, and um, if so, I appreciate a thumbs up, and please comment and subscribe, and until next time.